everybody welcome. On the 18th, 19th November, we begin the eclipse season with a lunar eclipse at 27 degrees and 17 minutes of Taurus. This is the beginning of a series of eclipses that will go on until October the 28th of 2023. So we'll have a two year period when most of the eclipses will be in the signs of Taurus and Scorpio. It would be helpful if you can to find these signs in your personal chart, the signs of Taurus and Scorpio. You can get a free chart from my website in the description box, there will be a link to it. See which houses are going to be activated at the time of this lunar eclipse, which life areas. The eclipses are very powerful times. It's like full moons and new moons on turbo charge. And they affect us collectively as well as personally. The themes coming up for this next couple of years, and this one is really the trigger. It's, yeah, it's the firing point. And the lunar eclipse brings things to light, things that have been hidden, things that have been often squelched under the surface. We begin to see things that we haven't noticed before. Oh, or maybe haven't wanted to notice. We've got seven planets in fixed signs at the time of this lunar eclipse. There's only 10 planets altogether, the main planets. So seven are in fix. This is a time to look at your resilience, your strength, your ability to endure, your capacity for patience, your loyalty, your steadfastness, your reliability. What can you rely on? What can't you rely on? Often lunar eclipses bring things to a light in terms of an end of a relationship. And it might just be the end of a relationship in the way that you treat yourself because Taurus is ruled by Venus and Venus has to do with love and romance. And Venus at this time is trying to Uranus which can bring romance and love into your life quite unexpectedly. A man at the market gave me a rose, which I thought was very romantic actually, this week. What can you do to bring romance into your life? It can also bring unexpected riches, unexpected good fortune. You may really find that a talent, a gift of yours is really blossoming and growing and you decide you're gonna follow it. Mars is ruler of Scorpio, and Mars is in Scorpio, as well as Pluto rules Scorpio, but Mars does as well. We've got a lot of Scorpio energy at this time. Scorpio is the emotions, the, uh, the ability to transform yourself, to pick yourself up out of the dust of the ashes, and to rise like the phoenix, strong. We've got a wide square with Saturn and also T-square with Jupiter at this time. So where is the exaggeration going on? Are you exaggerating something beyond its limits in your life? Have you got an exaggerated importance on a particular relationship that maybe needs to come into balance? Are you holding on to a relationship, a friendship, a group, a job, a situation that is no longer healthy for you? You might be looking at boundaries. Are people overstepping boundaries with you? It happened to me the other day in the doctor's surgery. The doctor said to me, uh, could I examine you? And I said, yeah, sure. I didn't know what particularly he was going to do. And he start prodding me and pushing me, especially around the breasts. And I kept saying to him, this is hurting. Please go more gently. 
had to really ward him off. Clear boundaries. Had I been a little stronger, I would have jumped up off the table and said, no, I'm not having this. Get off me. If you can't touch me gently, then don't bother. If I'd done that, I might not have had a whole day afterwards of being in pain, a lot of pain. But I'm fine now. But can you become aware of overstep boundaries? And it may be because it's uh, Scorpio Taurus energy to do with sexuality, to do with intimacy, to do with privacy. So these are all issues. And certainly on the collective level, because this is being triggered by these eclipses that will be going on for the next two years, uh, we're going to see some huge changes economically, Taurus rules, money, finance, the banks, corporations, Scorpio ruling joint resources, how we're using our energy, our earth, our animals, responsibility for that, shared responsibilities. There's a lot here. And also we'll be looking at what our what are what are our material and spiritual values. What's important? What are your values now moving forward in this new post? COVID hopefully era as we move on into this era. What's important to you now? Is it free speech? Is it no censorship? What really matters? Good health, I imagine. Joyfulness, connection, unity. What are those values? And are you living your life in accordance with those values and what needs to change? The fixed energy suggests that there may be resistance to changes, a digging in of the heels, a stubbornness. Where are you being too stubborn? Where do you need to let go, release, let go, surrender and allow? It's a very powerful energy. How are you using your power do you realize that you've got more power than you believe? And I think as a general, we the people don't realize quite how much power we have and that our corporations and our governments are here to serve us. And if they're not doing that anymore, then don't be surprised if certain governments, corporations, banks, financial institutions go belly up during this next year or two, as we go through these massive collective shifts connected with these signs. Facebook rebranding itself now to be the metaverse, where people are gonna be able to go online and conduct a lot of their lives in a virtual 3D reality. Do you want that? What would be the moderation point for you? Four planets are in Earth signs, four planets are in water signs at the time of this lunar eclipse. It's going to be important to be grounded, to be centered. Connect with the trees, with Mother Earth, with the water. Connect with your intuition, your emotions, your heart. This is a time where Venus and Mars are in complementary energies. Venus is in Capricorn, Mars is in Scorpio. We can bring together the marrying of the male, of the female, of the dualities that are going on. And we can find ways to bring about the unity and the peacefulness that Taurus so wants. Taurus of, above many of the signs, really would love a peaceful life. Reportedly, the Buddha uh, was a Taurus. 
Uranus in Taurus still for a while, and I'm reminded of this quote by Van Gogh, normality is a paved road. It's comfortable to walk on, but no flowers grow there. Where are you being too normal, walking the paved road of predictability and possible security instead of walking your unique path where you can blossom and flower? It's the beaver moon, the frost moon, the time in November when the beavers go into their lodges and begin to prepare for the winter, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. So think of the things that you need to do to prepare for this winter now, physically and emotionally. Much love to you. Bye for now.